I think there's a generation gap between the generation now and the generation back then. The younger generation, they don't want to hear from the older generation. And then the older generation don't want to deal with the problems of today. Gangs never affected my life. As an athlete, you always had a gave a pass. As an athlete, the gangs over here protected you when I was growing up. Now it's a different story. I'm from the K-Town area of Chicago. Growing up, it was kind of hard. In my neighborhood, it was always a lot of drug, a lot of shooting, and random people was getting shot every night. My neighborhood provided everything I needed to survive and move to another level in this neighborhood. Now it's a different story. I think most of our young people these days, their perspective is money. They wanted to find any kind of way to get it, you know. If some go to school, some work, or some do all type of things. School is a big part of my life, well, because my father, he, he never made it too far in school. He got out of high school, that was, that was it with uh, school. So he stressed school on, on me a, a lot because he says there's, there's more out here in life. I want better in my life, and I know statistically education will get you a high paying career. Kids are not utilizing their resources in the neighborhood. So the downfall for kids in this neighborhood is not being resourceful and using the neighborhood activities to better themselves. I was just reading the civil rights movement to my daughter yesterday and thinking about the situation that these people were in, trying to go into Birmingham, into the school. Just one of the girls who tried to go into the schools was chased to the bus stop and it was some other white people that came along and they was about to lynch her on the bus stop just because she wanted to go to school. If our children knew what it was like and really internalized that, they would take this opportunity that we have and make the best out of it. That impact rocked us as a culture. We don't know who we are. Our music teaches us to degrade ourselves. Our movies, our, our, our whole culture, it seems like somebody found a way to turn it against us. We was beautiful in the 60s. We had family. We had mama, daddy, big mama, all that. We had all that. We had Sunday dinner. We had going to church together. We had going to graduations and stuff um, and fighting to get in school so we can have a chance to get an education. Now we get into education and we fight during it. You know what I'm saying? Big mama gone. We don't even eat no more. Uh, cook food. It's microwave. It's not the sick. Londale was a community that was destroyed through fires and never got a chance to rebuild. The death of Martin Luther King, they, they rioted. The neighborhood went up in flame. Where the McDonald's is, across the street from there, it was a bank right there where the senior citizen home is at. From that bank to 16th Street was set on fire. Through the different aldermen here, they were always promised to, to rebuild Londale never came through. The finances for Lundell never came through. The religious leaders in Lundell took what was given financially from the city and never passed it on to the people in Lundell. Oh, I love the Lundell community. At 18, I've been working in the North Lundell community helping bring in positive programming 
for youth here. In the midst of the war, I can see the soldiers roar, rap messiah, you see. I got keys for freedom connoisseurs, we in the last days. Life short is more than a phrase. Young thugs with French braids get sprayed in gangways. Remember this, but no, I didn't come, I was sent to get a message to the desperate of the devil's intent to get us all in the position to be devoured. We can't fall to the ground like twin towers. Should acknowledge that I'm spitting in the final hour. Modern technology is stripping humans of their power. This education of religion keep my people sour. Now my brother said on the differences of gun power. My plan, create a sacred and holy land for the spiritually indigenous child, woman, and man. I'm a runaway slave with Jesuit ways. My heart is beyond brave, dude. Freedom is what I pray. Some say follow Jesus, others tell me not to. I follow dude in the mirror, but he only moves when I do. I think there's a generation gap between the generation now and the generation back then, and it's us young adults who's supposed to bridge that gap.